hello and welcome back um, so last video we have understand uh, the backend setup so let's make the actual setup now um, so I create a folder called server on my desktop and let me load this folder to your editor this is file open and paste enter okay yeah I got a server folder right so now what you have to do is you have to follow this particular document carefully okay the very first one you have to create a package.json so command goes to be this one okay so here I'll right click on the server open in terminal so let's say here I'll say paste uh, npm init hyphen hyphen s enter so this will create you a package.json okay this is one uh, default package uh, the configuration file of your project and after that you have to create a typescript configuration file the command is tsc space hyphen hyphen init so the same location of server tsc space hyphen hyphen init enter uh, you got a problem okay uh, it says some you can't run this type of scripts here once again I'll go to settings let's say terminal okay for terminal you can change this as a normal command prompt apply and okay okay let's close this open terminal again for server let's say TSC space hyphen hyphen in it enter okay so it is successfully created the type step configuration file okay fine so once it is created you do a small change in type step configuration file that is uh, es 2017 okay the targeted uh, javascript because we'll be writing a typescript program so what type of javascript version can be generated is es 2017 that is ES six features okay that's one change and uh, you can create one file of TypeScript that is server because this is the main server startup file okay and then uh, once you have done with this you need to install all these packages so uh, I made a mistake this is all at types okay so make sure you change all at types at the rate of types so let's copy here everywhere types and uh, back here paste it enter okay so all my packages has been installed successfully in my system okay so you get uh, node modules folder which contains all the packages yep that's fine so now you are done with this so you need to write a basic server setup of express.js using typescript so I'll be using typescript in the backend so I'll be using uh, this code so first of all let's say import express from express okay and then uh, something called constant app of type express dot application is equal to express you have to initialize and uh, you just import few things import uh, course from course and uh, import dot env from dot env and import mongoose from mongoose okay so once you have this um, so you can make some sort of configurations okay first of all is cars uh, I say uh, dot use I have to use the course for cross browser policy next so app dot um, no 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 I think dot uh, env dot config uh, here you have to provide the path okay 
so you have to provide some environment variables uh, I create one file called uh, um, dot env for environment variables this normal text file okay and let me give the path of it let's say dot slash dot env so I already explained about this uh, backend part in my uh, previous uh, YouTube videos tutorials so you can just have a look okay so course dot env and uh, let's say app dot use express dot json so this is actually for uh, json form data to accept express js to receive the form data that is this one and uh, here is for env variables environment variable this is the configuration and uh, in the env i can config something mm, first i need to have a host name host name is equal to http colon slash slash uh, or else no no this host name 127.0.0.1 host name and port number port number will be 5000 because as per our configuration of uh, REST API C127001 host, host name and this is the port number okay and also we need mongo db url so generally mongodb url starts like this mongodb colon slash slash 127 uh, dot 0 dot 0 dot 27017 slash your database name that is big basket okay so these things i'll use here so let host name of type string or undefined is equal to process dot env process dot env dot uh, host uh, underscore name the one which you have configured here host underscore name okay and then let's um, port number of type string or uh, generally port number is a number right number or undefined is equal to you need to convert to a number of this one process dot env dot port number the port number which you have given okay and I also need the mongodb URL of type string obviously or undefined so process dot env dot the mongodb url okay so now let's make a, a simple server connection so how you do is app dot get for an empty slash request comma a function so this will take a request uh, express dot request and uh, response of type uh, express dot response okay so i'll just say respond dot status of 200 successful dot json so i'll say a message server is the say welcome message welcome to express server of big basket app okay something like this and finally just say app dot listen uh, before I listen to say if port is not is equal to undefined and uh, uh, host name is not is equal to undefined so let's say um, app dot listen to the port number let's say port number and the host name and a function a callback function let's say confirmation console dot log of express server is started at http colon slash slash uh, the host name 
colon the port number okay okay that's fine so this is the source code of uh, server creation at express js so i have to start the server so to start the server let's make some configuration in package.json back here uh, main file my main file is server.ts and let's create a script start script so let's make node mon space server.ts okay node mon is a command which will automatically restart your server when you do some file changes over here okay so this changes i made start script node mon uh, if you already don't have uh, node mon installed in your system you can execute one command that is npm install hyphen g ts node and node mon both you need install okay if you don't have typescript node and node mon you install this command first okay before you run the server to start up okay so this will install globally okay because you need to have node mon first in your system yeah done so let's execute this start script so i'll say npm start okay so this will run the command called node mon server.ts and uh, it is started node mon and see express server is started at this particular location so how you test the backend uh, server you may test using browser or you can test the backend api using insomnia so i hope you already you have installed with insomnia software you can just go to uh, google and search for in insomnia uh, it's not that insomnia insomnia rest uh, client yeah this one so some people use insomnia or some people use postman to test the backend api so you just get this and download and install it so okay so i already have it let me open this so you can test the backend api using this software so once the backend is finished then we'll convert to i mean we'll, we'll come back to the front end application so insomnia is getting open come on oh i already have a big basket okay let's let's delete this we do I delete okay I removed it I removed it no I don't have anything you delete this guy I delete this guy as well okay so you have a dashboard like this and let's click on create request collection so I'll say big basket create so you got request collection and here on the left hand side create new request just say test server get request create yeah how you test the server see you got a clear confirmation server is started at this url so you just copy this url and paste it send see you got a message okay 200 means successful okay so welcome to express server of big basket application so now you got the confirmation from the server file this one okay so you got the response back successfully so this confirmed that you have uh, your server is up and running now let's configure the mongodb and then we'll configure a api okay so let's make mongodb configuration in the next video